The president announcing medical teams from the military will deploy to six states hit hard by the Omicron surge of COVID cases, including New York and New Jersey, as well as Ohio, Rhode Island, Michigan, and New Mexico. Like all healthcare workers, they are heroes, and I'm grateful uh, for what they do. The administration says since Thanksgiving, more than 800 military doctors and nurses have been deployed in surge teams. Next week, we'll see the first of an additional 1,000 personnel ordered to stand by in December. The plan comes as hospitals nationwide face staffing shortages amidst the surge in COVID hospitalizations. Coney Island Hospital in Brooklyn and University Hospital in Newark are area hospitals that will receive the federal help. Dr. Sharif Al-Mahal is CEO of University Hospital and was elated with the announcement that help is on the way next week. We're set to get 23 uh, women and men in uniform for 30 days to assist us, and we're still waiting to hear exactly what their skills will be. But frankly, uh, across the hospital, we're facing shortages, and so no matter what skills they bring, I'm confident we can use them well and to the benefit of the community. His hospital, one of many, battling not just the surge in COVID cases, but the number of staffers knocked out of commission by the virus. They're stressed, and uh, they have fewer of their colleagues around them day after day because folks are being knocked out of work. Two years into the COVID pandemic, and it has taken a toll on health care workers in the tri-state. New Jersey emergency medical physician Dr. Samson Davis works at several New Jersey hospitals where his colleagues feel almost war-torn. This surge is unfathomable. What we're seeing now are numbers that are higher than when this uh, virus first appeared. We're seeing ICU wards filled. We're seeing the ER, the emergency department, which where I work, filled. Uh, we have no room. And uh, we're seeing COVID fatigue amongst our staff. Our staff members are exhausted.